looks pretty well packaged. Doesn't look bad at all. But I'm gonna remove the contacts and place it on the table and show you guys what they sent. All right, guys, so this is what they sent me. It's gonna be the new grill that's gonna be going on my FK8 now. Looks really nice. Feels sturdy. It's nice and glossy. I am going for a carbon fiber theme on my car. I love carbon fiber. But I'm gonna do this for now and see what happens in the future. Maybe they do some carbon fiber parts and we upgrade it. Or I could just always change it if that if it comes to it. But I'm definitely looking forward to putting this on the FK8. Uh, it's definitely gonna give me a lot of breathing for the for the motor because this is all open. So that's gonna help with cooling because everybody knows the FK has overheating problems, even though I haven't really ran into that issue yet. But it's something that does happen commonly. Um, they also sent me this, which it looks like is it goes on top of where the uh, headlights are at. So that's gonna be another nice new glossy look. So I'll definitely put that on. And then it comes with the mesh that goes, or the vent that goes where the grill is. They send you two different ones. They send you this one, which is a, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a whole bunch of little holes. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe there you guys can see a little bit. So that would go from the inside. Or if you want to use this one, which I think I'm going to use. I think I'm going to like that look better. But it's like a whole bunch of diamonds. So I think, I think I'm going to like that look better. So I might use this one. And then they provide the hardware as well. So that you could connect it to the grill. Which if I'm not mistaken... Should have the little holes to it. Yep. So that's where you will connect the grill and then you will screw it to all those points. There, right there, and so on. So that's gonna be the install for today. Um only thing that I'm not gonna like about this, which is like the same thing with the Jay's racing grill, is the fact that Oops, sorry. It's the fact that it doesn't have the spot to put the emblem. But if I'm not mistaken, they did come out with an aftermarket piece for that. That you, you're able to put your emblem on there afterwards. So maybe that's something to look forward to in the future. But for now, I'm definitely going to put that. I think it's going to give it a nice aggressive look in the front too. And like I said, more air for, for the motor. So that should help out with some cooling issues. Yeah, but let's see. We're going to get this install started and let's see how the day goes. All right, guys. So I came to a, my friend's house because his neighbor has quick jacks. So I'm going to try to use that for today's install. But here's the type R. She's looking really nice. Looking real clean. Maybe no, she does need to take a bath. But she's looking good. So that new part for today is going to be this grill. As you can see, there's a lot of restrictions. There's a lot of things in the way. So that's going to open up that whole area. Like I said, the emblem won't be there. And I'm pretty sure that top bar won't be there no more. But that whole area is going to be open. It's going to give a lot more airflow. It's going to look real aggressive. So I'm excited to see. But some of the parts that I have updated, if you can see is I do have a real carbon fiber front lip now she is beautiful she is ceramic coated and ppf to try to protect it as much as possible another thing i did let's see if i can get it here which i got the mugen carbon fiber rear mirror i'm gonna see if i post up some pictures on my instagram of that later on so you guys can see it better I also did my rims and tires. I got the T37s in bronze with the Michelin tires. Uh, I went 265-35-18 on the tires. Um, the rims, I believe, they're 18, nine and a half. So 
I mean, I love the ride. It drives really good. I have not dropped it yet. So that's going to be interesting to see if I rub or anything. But I think I'm going to be pretty good. Oh, and the tires there are the Pilot Sports AS 3 Plus, I believe. Nice grippy tires. They feel great on the road. Here's the front. I do have the center caps coming in too, guys. Just bear with me on that. And I also got the raised red lugs that are going to be going on. So that's going to be the next thing going. Also, I did get, it's kind of wet right now, but I did get the carbon fiber rear spoiler. That's another thing that I updated. So some nice carbon fiber parts. I also switched up my door handles. Um, went with the synth carbon door handles and the Mugen inserts, carbon fiber inserts. So those are a few of the little upgrades that I did. If I forgot anything, I will put it on later. But yeah, guys, she's looking beautiful. Like I said, she's dirty. It's been raining, so I gotta give her a nice wash. But she's looking good. She's driving strong. Oh, there's a couple of things I did under the hood too. Uh, nothing crazy, but I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Let me go grab my keys. So under the hood, I did buy the inventory Kevlar carbon engine cover. It looks so beautiful. It goes so well with my intake from inventory as well. And I might have or might have not got the inlet turbo pipe as well. So that's gonna be for a future video. I might do that at a shop and see if I could record it. But yeah, she's looking nice guys. I'm very excited and let's get this video going. All right guys, I'm gonna start the process of removing the bumper. Um, I believe all of these need to come off, all these clips on both sides. And then this weather strip also needs to come off. This whole area right here. This needs to be removed. I don't think we have to take out the intake because this piece has to come off as well and then underneath there's a whole bunch of clips that need to be removed and i believe two um allen key bolts as well and then there's going to be a bunch of tabs that i saw from a video it's going to be like clips inside where the headlights are and stuff like that that need to be pushed down in order to loosen it up <clears throat> and also my side marker needs to come off with the bolt with the screws that are on the side of that so I'm not gonna do, a, I'm not gonna show removing the actual bumper because it takes a lot of time, a lot of time consuming and uh, it's, it's a pain in the butt, I'm not gonna lie. But there are videos on YouTube um, with them showing you how to remove it. That's what I'm gonna refer to. So if anything, I'll see if I put one of those videos on the description below. If not, you can always just YouTube it and it'll come up. So let me try to get this bumper off. Alright guys, this is my boy Selvin. He came out to help me out to do this um, project for today. We're going to get ready for this meet tonight. Um, since I had the whole front bumper out, there you guys go. We have it over here on the grass. Get this box out the way. We took out the whole front bumper. Only broke one clip, so I feel like I'm winning. But since I do, I have the front bumper out, we're going to go ahead and change the headlights. Um, back in November, I did buy a pair of Jace Racing headlights. And he, here they are. We're not gonna take the plastic off yet, but they look fucking amazing. There goes the logo, Jay's Racing. Um, we are gonna set them up so that they could be sequential, and that way the whole vehicle is sequential. And yeah, so we're gonna do the headlights, we're gonna change the grill, and then I'm gonna try to make the fitment on this lip, this carbon fiber lip. I'm gonna try to make the fitment a little bit better and see how it goes, and then we're gonna put everything together. So wish us luck, and there goes his car guys, driving a beautiful Mustang, sounds amazing, you'll see it on my channel later on, but yeah for the headlights by the way, there's a bolt here that needs to be removed, a bolt here that needs to be removed, a bolt here that needs to be removed, and if you guys look all the way back there, hmm, it's gonna be too dark, but all the way in the back, all the way back there, there's another 10 millimeter bolt that needs to be removed. 
and then the headlight slides right off make sure you take off all the connections before you pull the, the, the whole headlight off and then I believe there's going to be parts of this headlight that needs to come off and be put on the J's racing so that it can sit on the car so wish us luck we'll be back in a sec put the hazards on? not yet so guys we put one of the J's racing headlights on it looks amazing wasn't too difficult just make sure oh I missed one bolt that was here that needs to come off and then just make sure these little clips are, are replaced on the J's Racing from the old one and also this bracket here this bracket here needs to come off the old one and placed on the J's Racing one and then everything else is close back to normal so here's the stock headlight still that's the J's Racing so I'm gonna tell my boy now to go through the sequences so you guys can see the difference uh, hit that hazards real quick so as you can see it's on the bottom part and it's sequential and here's on the top part and it's regular turn them off turn on on the daylight so here that's the daylight well the headlights and that's the headlights click it back once there you go and here's the daytimes that's the Jays racing and here's the regular OEM ones that come out so I am really happy I'm gonna go ahead and put the other side on and then I'm gonna start working on putting the new grill on the bumper well guys we just finished installing the new Jays racing grill style and it came out beautiful as you can see a lot of opening now it's gonna have a lot of breathing room so now our next step is putting the bumper back on the car and then let's see how everything looks together all right guys just finished the installation of everything that we wanted to do for today excuse my hair looks crazy i was on the car getting all nice and dirty hands all greasy but you know how it goes but the car is done oh my god i am so in love it looks so aggressive the lights headlights look amazing like it's just everything came out perfect everything came out good together so i'm gonna show you guys now i got the directionals on right now so you guys can see look how beautiful that looks it looks so mean so aggressive wow it really gave it a nice touch so it's nice nice big opening now to get more air in the car that looks so sick so now my whole car is sequential all the way around so it gives it a nice touch that's the rear but I couldn't be happier I'm gonna turn on the headlights now so you guys can see how the headlights look That looks amazing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the install. If you like what you saw today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, a like, comment down below what you want to see in the future. I got a lot more plans for the top part, a lot more parts I got to go on. And like I said, I got another car for the future. I want to thank my boy Selvin for coming through. He gave me that extra both white, you know how we do. But yeah, she's done. I couldn't be happier. She's looking good. Um, make sure you guys follow my Instagram too. I'm gonna be going to a meet tonight. I'm not gonna be recording anything, but I will be posting some pictures up on Instagram. So make sure you guys follow up and check out how the meet went. Like always, thank you guys for, for watching, taking the time to watch my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.